Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Quantum Leap, Too Close for Comfort. Uh, this one, if I got my research correct, um, happened either right before or right after. I completely blanked on which one. I think it's right before the episode A Leap for Lisa. Um, so, And I believe it's episode 22 of season 4. Um, so we are currently re-watching this series. When I was younger, I watched all the way from the uh, first episode all the way to the last episode. My favorite episode of all time is uh, the end of season three. It's a Halloween episode. I believe that's what it is, uh, the end of season three, because I remember having to wait a long time on whether or not we were going to get another season after that. I could be wrong, though. But uh, this one happens, like, I believe it's right before it. It deals with... Uh, Sam leaping back to, ow, I'm sorry, it felt like something bit me, it's just my leg twitching, my nerves are acting funny right now, um, in my back, that's what I'm talking about, but uh, it deals with Al, um, Sam leaping back to a men's group that Al has joined, um, the, the reason he's joined is because his therapist thought it would be good for him, um, it's, it's an odd group. Um, it's a bunch of uh, older white men doing Native American rituals kind of deal, beating drums, doing hey ya, uh, hey ya. Uh, that, that's literally how it's written in the book. Um, and it, it's, it's funny because in, in our age of political correctness and uh, uh, cultural, appropriate, cultural appropriation and those, those key, key terms, a lot of that stuff is mentioned in here. Um, there, there's one lady who works for the hotel where they're having the men's group, and she kind of rates. She's Native American or seems Native American. She's wearing the jewelry. It's just Sam. Sam is thinking of her as she might be Native American just by the look of her. Um, but she, she, he brings up the fact. You know, you, are you mad because it's a bunch of uh, old white dudes pretending to be Native American? They use Indians in the book, of course, but Native Americans, and it's got nothing to do with that. But he also thinks that maybe it does have something to do with that. So it, it was interesting to find those themes in this book. There's also this really heavy theme of, uh, like, men's rights activist kind of deal. And it's not a pro-men's rights activist. In fact, most of the time, Sam is inwardly laughing at these guys while he's at these meetings. But this is, that's, you might be saying, spoilers, eh? I, don't, I don't know. Any of you out there actually going to read this? But uh, that, that's not even a spoiler. That's like, that's not even really the, that's the subplot. That's the red herring. That's to keep your mind off of the main plot. Uh, the main plot is Lisa, um, who has a boyfriend who may not be the best person in the world, and her father is the leader of this men's right group. And none of these, these two things don't really go together, other than the fact that this guy, the, the, the father, the only character in the book whose name I can't remember, um, he's, he's dealing with this, he's kind of ignoring his family to work with this, uh, this men's encounter group, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, but it's all about, um, empowering men. <laughs> it's, it's a hilarious concept to me, too. I, I find it funny. Um, of course, this, the, uh, the first, I think, four or five books in the series are written by a woman, um, Ashley McConnell, and she really, she, she pinpoints the problems with some of the earlier episodes of the television series, which, uh, you know, women are property, uh, w women are, you know, to be used as housewives, and that they're they're just supposed to be reared so that you know they can. There's several episodes in there, where especially there's one episode uh, about a cat, he's on the on a branch, and the, the the daughter of the ranch owner is basically has come up with this contest like whoever out cowboys my daughter and makes a woman out of her gets to marry her. So, you know, you got really, really straight, and it actually happens in the episode. She actually does end up with one of the guys. Uh, so you, ha you go from those themes to, it's almost as if they hired McConnell to fix those problems. Uh, and those problems, I would assume, were created by Donald Belisario. I think that's what his name is. Uh, yeah, Donald P. Belisario. But like I said, the first couple books are written um, by Ashley McConnell, and you can tell that it's that it's it's completely different tone to it. The things that would be taken seriously in the television series are joked about in here, at least from what I can remember of the earlier episodes. I haven't gotten to the farther the, the deeper in episodes later on. Um, and of course as time changed, you know, in 
in, in our culture, as things change in our culture, it was bound to lean more along the lines of, you know, you don't want to offend certain people. Now, well, but all that aside, this book is terrifically written. Um, I, I, was, I was so worried coming out of the, the, the last book that this book, they would cut corners, um, but they didn't. Um, the, the plot of this one is really, really good. If you watch the TV show back to back to back, you start to see all these, uh, not really holes, but all these plot devices that they used to keep the show running. Um, even in even in the second season, you know, you only have so much content you can use uh, with a time travel esque type of thing, and every single episode seems to have some kind of romantic subplot. I was very happy to see that this book didn't have a romantic subplot. Um, this this review might be a little more in depth than normally I would go into, but the whole reason for it is I w I'm shocked. I, I'm honestly shocked that these books are as good as they are. My only criticism about this series so far is my own problem. It has nothing to do, well, maybe it's because the author is so good. I mean, if you want to say if, if the book's fault at all, it's because the author is so good. I'm worried going on past here because I don't want to ruin my opinion of the earlier books or see them for something maybe they, they aren't or maybe they are. Like, maybe they are goofy and just toss away novels and I'm just not seeing it because I'm enjoying it so much but at the same time I just I kind of I, I want to see if it gets you know if, it, if the quality keeps on I'm, I'm in that conflict there where I don't want to ruin it by the series dragging on and on and on like the television show did because I remember there were severely diminishing returns there at the end and it's like please kill this thing and they finally did but it was well after the well after the point they should have kind of like the walking dead it's just a zombie at this point but uh is it even still going i don't know i stopped watching after the third or fourth season is, is walking dead still going let me know down there in the doobly-doo because you guys are obviously my tv guide no <laughs> i'm kidding but uh yeah so quantum leap are any of you guys out there actually you know, reading this series? Have you read this series? Did you even know this series existed? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! Man, I'm so ridiculously tired. Uh, for you guys who watch the entire video, every single video, I wanted to put this at the end because you're the, you're the same people who show up for the live streams. Um, I'm sorry I didn't make it last night, especially after putting up a video going, hey, this is the new schedule. I'm still in a lot of pain. But uh, it's not a debilitating pain where I can't come out here and shoot a you know 15 minute episode, and then edit it for like you know 10 minutes kind of deal. Because all I got to do with these episodes usually is chop off the end matter and well the front matter and the end matter, and then you know just just throw it up. So it's not not that big of a deal and rewatch it for quality throughout. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry I let you guys down, but it's just something that had to be done. There was no way in hell I was going to be able to sit there on that hard chair streaming for you know any 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 more than maybe 30 minutes so if you guys wouldn't mind doing extremely short ones usually it takes about 30 minutes for chat to get going though if you've noticed so if you guys wouldn't mind doing uh shorter streams maybe we can do one of those this week just let me know down then doobly doo you know how we do i'll talk to you guys later bye